There's a the field for the eighth race. One, two little trout on by Jack and Peggy Hood, Mystical Marker Farms of Indiana and Illinois. Dirk Simpson trains, he's in the bike. Two, 1A is Fox Valley Nico, on by Tyler Butenshain and Tom Kolchowski of Illinois. Dirk Simpson also trains, it'll be Tim Searle behind Fox Valley Nico. Two is Jonathan Coe, owned by Crawford Standard Bread Farm Inc., Crawfordsville, Indiana. Ken Crawford, the trainer with Jim Curran. Three, Can Am, owned by Jerry and Helen Logan, Coffeyville, Kansas. Logan trains with Brent Holland driving. 4RC Charger, owned by Ray Hanna and Dick Corson, Altamont and St. Peter, Illinois. Hanna, the trainer, with Neil Coleman. 5 Talent Scout, owned by Ed Rigg of Decatur. Leroy Moyer trains. Andy Miller will drive. 6 Trotton Key, owned by Bo and Jay DeLong, Clinton, Wisconsin. Bo DeLong trains. Jay DeLong drives. 7 Victory Siege, owned by George and Alyssa Stadler, Eagle, Wisconsin. John Sheldon, the trainer. Gary Leonard, up. 8 Fox Valley Moose, owned by Dennis Gardner, Diana Hendricks of Alney. Dennis Gardner trains, and Mike Cox will be driving. Nine, Billy's Buddy Bob. On by John Leahy, Anderson Racing, Inc., Bob Ranquist, Jr. of Chicago. Joe Anderson trains. Joe will be driving. Ten trotters in only four minutes. Now that field, and eighth from the start. Gate picks up speed, and here they come. They're off and trotting. Victory Siege quickly scoots across the racetrack. He has the lead for Leonard by a length and a half at the start. Trotton Key gets away well. Second on the inside out quickly. Jonathan Coe will settle third as that field powers into the turn, trotting toward the quarter mile mark. Ten three-year-old trotters underway, and they're being led by Victory Siege on the outside. Trotton Key. Hunt's cover doesn't find it. He's parked second. Jonathan Coe scoots along the inside third. Two little trout fourth. Racing five is RC Charger. Six on the outside. Can Am. Following him, racing seven. Billy's Buddy Bob, eighth on the inside. Talent Scout, ninth on the outside as they sweep off the turn down the back stretches. Fox Valley Moose. The front quarter was trotted at 29-3. They're headed toward the half mile mark and down the back stretch on the outside, easing toward the front as they drive that way. Two little trout. He takes command behind him coming on as they reach the half will be Can Am. He's parked second on the inside, trotting third. Victory Siege outside him. Racing next, Billy's Buddy Bob as they're at the half. Billy's Buddy Bob racing past trotters he's now moved up third with cover on the outside they're at the half 59-3 they race past the draw gate on the inside leading the way Can-Am on the outside chasing him Billy's buddy Bob now he loses cover he's second as they reach uh, toward the three quarter third on the inside two little trout four is victory siege on the outside racing uh, five as they reach the three quarter will be talent scout six on the inside trotton key seven on the outside fox valley moose they approach and reach the three quarter they're there in 130 they're at the top of the lane three-year-old trotters ten strong turn for home and trotters coming from everywhere in the lane they turn for the wire on the outside billy's buddy bob on the inside cam am tiring and coming on middle of the racetrack very quickly, Trotton Key. Here comes Trotton Key and Jonathan Coe. But between them, trotting fastest victory siege to the wire. Jonathan Coe wins it. Trotton Key second, under the wire third victory siege. Four was RC Charger, then a photo for five. 159 4. Driving finish. Unofficially, Jonathan Coe. Here he is, owned by the Crawford Standard Bread Farm Inc. of Crawfordsville, Indiana. Ken Crawford trains Jim Curran, the winning driver. The Crawfords from Crawfordsville, Indiana have bred trotting mares in Illinois for a number of years. They've bred a lot of good ones that raced here and at DuCoin and in Chicago in the stakes. And they have visited the winner's circle a number of times here and at the Indiana State Fair and at DuCoin. Now they join their winning trotter and Jim Curran with this official 159-4 victory. That's a new mark for the Crawford bred Master Willie son of Lucinda Cole by Bonefish, Jonathan Cole.